year-over-year -year growth in the smartphone market has continued, but it has slowed and moderated some in China, the world's largest smartphone market. Investors particularly are looking for what will be the key trends to drive that growth in the future. For many, this driver of growth will be the adoption of TDLTE in the Chinese smartphone market. It's been approved at China Mobile and it's begun to roll out. That trend is key for investors to follow, and it's also key for many tech companies trying to penetrate that market with greater adoption of LTE, AP, and baseband chips. Currently in China, personal data use on smartphones through the network is relatively slow growth compared to other developed markets. This is due to the availability of free Wi-Fi, and also the fact that 3G is relatively slow and more costly compared to those Wi-Fi access points. With TDLTE, Chinese users will finally be able to surf the web on their mobile device at Wi-Fi speeds potentially driving an upgrade cycle and also the purchase of new mobile phone devices, in addition to spending money on more expensive data plans which will benefit carriers. Two companies with a great deal of stake in this market are Qualcomm and MediaTek, the two world's largest producers of application processors for the LTE market. Given China is the largest smartphone market in the world, there is a lot at stake for these two providers. The provider that wins market share and becomes entrenched will have a lot of success over the long term. The provider that doesn't gain market share will have a lot of challenges. Handset manufacturers have to ask themselves several key questions. One, what does this mean for the evolution of the data market? Two, how do they measure the results in this market? And three, which reference design will be most advantageous now and also in the future? GFK is unique in its ability to track not only the phones, but also the components within those phones, including the application processors. We can track this in China, but also in other important markets globally. We'll be watching this important trend closely, both now and in the future.